Welcome back everybody, Harleyford Golf Club here. We are on part three. Wilbur is two up over Paul. We're doing a little practice round here for the Euro Pro event that Wilbur's going to be playing on um, in a couple of weeks' time from when we're filming this. So uh, Wilbur two up. Let's, uh, let's see what the boys are up to on the seventh tee. Seventh hole, welcome back everybody. Paul, Wilbur, Wilbur two up over Paul, but obviously just a little practice. Eight. 468, little dog yeah. leg round to the right. Yeah. Bank off the left, bank off the right. Okay. So, I, uh, there's always going to be one tricky hole in the course, which is stroke one. So, there's nothing down around the green that's any problem. So, it's all about the tee shot. Okay, and what, what are you trying to feel like you're doing so, with this? Literally, there's a funnel, hit three wood, straight down the funnel, anything left should kick right, Okay. anything right should kick left. Okay, so just positioning now then for Wilbur, three wood in hand. Straight over the flag with a favour. Yeah, we're going straight over the green that we just played there, sixth green. Perfect, isn't it? Yeah, that's Straight down on Bernie, that. Good hit, Wilbur. There it comes down there, bouncing yeah. down. Bernie's got all of that one for us. That's perfect. Great hit. Thank you. Good strike? Yeah, very good, good strike. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, good shape, like that. A little bit of left to right on it. Paul going with driver. Similar sort of thoughts, Paul? I think over this tree by... Just hugging more the right yeah, side, are yeah, you? Yeah, maybe a fraction right of Wills is perfect, but yeah. he's not in bad position there. I think anything right of Leicester down the fairway there is good. Yeah. Again, Paul's pretty straight the driver, so he can move it left to right or right to left, depending on the shot that he's got. Pulling a few. Just started it on the tree and they're turning over a little bit left. Bounce, bounce right as well though. On the bank. Yeah, it's okay. I think Bernie's got that down as well, so we're okay there. Just getting a little bit lefty at the moment with that, aren't you? Do when it's cold. Is that what you get? Is it? Got enough turn. Yeah. Getting old, Paul. One of those that as well, yeah. Just popping just this in there. So we're just we're just having a little practice. Again, boys are hitting two shots occasionally, but we'll be just going with driver as well is a bit of bit an idea. It's really gonna be hugging the right side now. That's a bummer. It'll be interesting to see where that ends up because it's going straight over the middle of that tree. Not seeing that down. It's opening up. The heavens are opening up. We've got a bit of rain. Right, this hole though, now thinking about it, Paul, mm. like, look how much room you've got over here on the right side. Oh. Is it still still hugging the right side with driver? Is that the line? I think, yeah, you, there's no reason to not hit driver down here. And you can definitely go further right. Yeah. Certainly and it me. all bounces like there, it's all bouncing in yeah. off the right hand side, isn't it? Kick down. You know, where Wilbur's got down there with his second ball, he's way down there with that yeah. driver, hugging hugging the tree line. Okay, what have we got? One far, uh, we got 170, but it's yeah. downhill quite a lot, so it's playing about 157 downhill. Go over 9 iron, it's, it's um, downwind as well, really. Yeah. Everything's down. I'm not sure what the green, whether it tilts down or it's flat or what, so I land at front edge of the green and hope. Get going for a better stop. Yeah. Mm. Stuck it out to the right hand side. Always a difficult shot yeah. off a down slope like that. Uh, you got away with murder there. Yeah. You hit the truck in, it's gone on the green. Let's just, just run off, right. off now off the right hand side. 
just stay off those down slopes. You've got to be so careful, haven't you? Just there. Got ahead of it a little bit. Did you? Yeah. Left it out right. Just some quite squeeze a down it a bit slope, right. Yeah. Um, for most people at home, those ball below your feet, ball downhill as well. It's always going to want to squeeze off to the right, isn't it? You have to work it quite hard to get that square. Yeah. What's that zapper reading for you there, Will? I've got 149. 149, yeah. And 141 with slope. Okay. So downwind. Quite a lot of slope there. Downwind. I'm guessing front edge is probably that. Yeah, I think coming out of that lie, I mean, you should get a bit of zip on it, shouldn't you? Go gap wedge. Gap wedge? Or just say we're playing 141. 141, that's with the number, isn't it? Yeah. So it's one, one, th one, three, two. One, three, two. One, three, two. Thoughts? One, I think it's like 125 shot to the front of the green. Okay. So going with the gap wedge, which is about is 125, 120 to 125 club. It's going to de-loft it off this down slope as well. So it's going to, yeah, it's going to want to shoot it, de-loft the club and shoot it forward a fraction. Turning. Stopped. It was bang on pin eye, wasn't it? Pretty much, maybe just short just pin eye, but there. just turned big time, didn't it? Like the wind just kicked it left on you. A bit of a yeah. One to the right. So, just thinking then, Will was it driver as well though? I mean, you've got so much room down the right, haven't you? More you room have. than we probably thought. Yeah, we've said I came down to have a look, and but his driver's pitched round about here. Is it? So, perfect spot. So we've said see what the wind's doing on the day. Either or, isn't it? Really? Yeah. You could, you could play with both. Yeah, if, if it's playing tough, three wood into here, yeah. 150. We've figured out the three woods pretty much gone the same distance as a normal driver with no wind. Yeah. So it's almost like a bit driver down there. Yeah, 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 good way of thinking about it. Driver off the I mean, if you're going in with gap wedge anyway, it doesn't really matter no, massively, no. does it? Paul's ball, just finished up here. He's got a proper bit of slope, so it's gonna go over this ridge and running down. He's at the top of the ridge there now and working down towards the hole. So getting a bit of a look. Wilbur's in the better miss spot. Short left is probably better than right. So he's got to get something up quickly over this little ridge here and then let it release down. And you've got to be so careful because you don't want to be landing it, pitching it into the bridge and almost killing it. What have you got? 52 or 58? Yeah. I'm just going to land it on top here and then just let it yeah. release down. Decent lie. We'll move from left to right as well. Working its way down. It's clicking his fingers for it to slow down, that is. It's moved a lot on him. So it moved a lot and then ran on a lot, didn't it? Tough. Not where you want Tough. to be. Not the miss, is it? Definitely. Absolutely not the miss. I mean, that's just walking left. on here now. Is I'm massively downhill from where Paul's going there. Not the miss. Wilbur probably had a little look at that putt as it wandered past the flag. Definitely one for the the notebook, Will. Of uh, don't miss it over there. Don't miss right. No, the green is severely sloping towards Massively the south. Massively pitched, isn't it? I mean, this is where. Um, I mean, you can see the scores being why they've been so low in the years gone by, but you know, you get it wrong on these greens and you can be in all sorts of trouble. The course record's two or hat and seven under, so it's not like low, low. No, but the, but the scoring got, got lowish, didn't it? 15, yeah. 16 under. Okay, Will, up the hill. Off his right, he went way off to the right. Cracking. Cool. It's a really okay. good roll that will. Very good roll. Paul asking him to pick that up. Again, what's gonna be interesting with this um, with this green in the tournament is where Will is up there, there's a little flat portion there, so you're definitely gonna see a pin up there. I I can't, I'm struggling to see where they're gonna put them. They're they're not they can't get it. They can't get the pin here. 
or anywhere around there. So everything's going to have to be mooring down in this portion here with the other pin placements. You've got to think they've got to find four, four positions and um, I think most of them are going to be down in this bottom corner. Certainly three of them anyway. Okay, Paul, up the hill. Starting way left. This moves a lot, doesn't it? it moved a lot. Just a fraction of a pull. Yeah, a big pull. Just uh, second shot killed you a bit there, didn't it? It did. You missed missed it in the wrong spot, and it's just it's really tough chip from up there to get it close. So feeling at the moment. So if you were playing obviously a proper match against Will, yeah, I feel like you've gifted him a few holes there. I gifted. I think I've just hit it in the wrong places. Yeah, and not. But I don't know where to hit it. So that's that's the idea of this round. So I'd avoid certain places that I've gone today. So yeah, just, just can't get can't chip a putt from really, or they're just really tough shots. So yeah, but that's why you play a practice. That's, that's it. Find that's out, it right. find out where not to go. Really. That's it. You're right. So after you played the hole, Willie, really, I've noticed you're walking around the green looking at certain things. What are you actually looking at? So the green's like really undulating from right to left. So I was just having a look at where the, the old pin positions were, so where they plug it back in. Because obviously there's not very many pin positions for this green, because in the middle it's quite severe. So obviously I've seen one front right, back right, back left, and more on the left hand side. So I was just having a little... little... Mm, you can see it. Yep. It's pretty straight down there, isn't it? It's a pin. Paul just having a little look on his map to see where he's got to go. What yeah. we're seeing then? Okay, Neil? we've got a 400 yard par four. Okay. Uphill, straight into the wind. Yes. And a blind tee shot. Yes. But it looks, there's quite a bit of room. So. Just get it up there. Just hit it, hit it. Driver up there. Hit it at the two trees, biggest trees in the distance. And let's see where we go. Okay, Wilbur. Yeah, a bit of a blind tee shot, so I'm just going to aim at the trees in the distance. Yeah, got, he's picked right. his spot, picking his tree. I'm going to make a bit he of a lower giving him the line. Take. It's in, into wind off the right. Okay. So just a bit of a lower, squeezier one. Yeah. No. Started right, going right now. Out in there somewhere. I don't know what's over there. I don't know what's over there, no, but might be having another go from that. Get an idea of, uh, not going to get a lot from that shot, so he's going to have to hit another one just to get a bit of an idea on um, on distance and lines. The practice. Paul going with driver, I would say probably similar sort of type of idea, not shot, but idea. Right. Not, no, as in <laughs> the idea of where he's going. Uh, yeah. A little bit lower. A bit left of that. Yeah, that's perfect. Straight up there. All the provisional. Provisional tight as one. Yeah, nicely seeing that down. That's good. We'll be just having another go. I'm sure we'll find that first one, but let's have another go to get a gauge of how the hole's playing. Better one. That. Much better. That's a proper Wilbur bomber, that one. Better, yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice bit of run on that as well. I find it tough to commit to a shot where you, you don't know where you're going and you've never played it before. So no, no, no. I, that's I why get practice that. rounds are so important. Yeah. So how's Wilbur and uh, Neil getting on? Well, they're doing alright. They're, um, I don't know how much uh, Neil's caddied for him. Past, but obviously, yeah. the more they caddy together, the more time they spend playing, playing with Will, the more they're going to know how to gel properly. Um, so it's quite important they get practice rounds together and spend as much time on the golf course as possible, really. Yeah, it is. It's really, really important. And uh, I think it's good that, he, that uh, Neil comes as a practice round as well to see what's going on so there's no unexpected things. So, yeah, it's a good idea to bring your caddy up, definitely. Getting, um, hitting two balls, that sort of stuff, around this golf course at the moment, getting the lines is just, again, important what he's doing. 
yeah, I think trying different clubs off different tees, you know. I think if you do play it safe, it's always worth having to go with the driver in a practice round just to see what, what can happen. See what's what's there really. And if you're you may find that it might not be the right shot, but you feel comfortable with that shot. And, you know, sometimes you can do it and take advantage of the hole. So it's good to try them in practice rounds. You can do a bit of experimenting. A little bit of shock in the Wilbur camp because the ball is actually, I know it's in the thicker rough, which is what we kind of expected, but he's not that far off line. Difficult to see, isn't it? Obviously when it's a blind shot, but knowing what you know now, you can hug the right side because your, your second one, which Paul was, was perfect, it's left. It's actually left, left of the fairway. Using the cedar tree as a line. Yeah, absolutely. Next Using that side. as a line moving forward. I honestly left. thought this was 40 yards right of the fairway. Mm. It's actually, if it's here, it's perfect. Yeah. It's an underarm throwaway. Yeah, absolutely. Right, what have you got? 180, I'm not getting 180, not line. getting out of that lie. Where is it? It's buried itself a little bit there. So he's going with uh, what looks like a, a wedge or a nine iron just to thump it back out to play. Hopefully it comes up a bit knuckly and I get it. Are you going to a yardage, Will? Are you trying to think about that or not? Closer the better, I find. Closer the better, yeah. okay. Just muscle and nine iron. Hopefully it comes up hot. Nine iron cool. Just giving it a good thumb, that's well out of there. Straight on line. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just got it out as close as you could from that position, well done. Yeah. Well, I thought yours was going to be right in the middle of the fairway. I did, I thought it was pretty much exactly where I wanted to hit it and it's kind of fallen off into the left rough and it's yeah. in a nasty little... Not an easy lie that either, is no, it? No, because I've got to hit a lot of club, I've got to... I've got 177 yards and um, it's into wind and really I'd probably like to hit a four iron but I can't because the lie isn't good enough so I'm going to try and somehow get a five, try and get it jumping out of it. Okay. So, Paul just trying to get it up and around the green as best he can really off this line, which is unfortunate. A really good tee shot. It's well out. Go on, up you go. It's trying really hard. Really unfortunate that, considering it's such a good tee shot. Yeah. Just the way it uh, goes, isn't it, sometimes? Yeah, but again, uh, knowing what you know now, you'd certainly hug the right side, wouldn't you? Yes, no, I mean, it's more danger right. So, like, we saw where Will was. Yeah. He's only just off the fairway, really. So, probably, what, 15 yards off the fairway? So, yeah. wouldn't want to be going too far. I think you've just got to take your chances down there. I think I just got really unlucky with where that finished. But, um, yeah, this is how it goes some days. What is it, Will? What is that? Right, put your comments down below. What have I zoomed in on? He, that, he's, oh, they're having a right old ding dong. That crow is not happy with him. Oh, go on, have it. Yeah, that crow is very brave. Very brave. I know who my money would be on, but he's still, he's after something, isn't he? Put your comments down below. What am I actually, filming there. What is that? He's gone. Just sent Will up for a little wander. Little wander. He's got 52 yards to the flag. It looks pretty innocuous from here. Yeah. Little pitch up the hill into the wind, but there's literally nothing behind the flag. He's got six, seven foot. Okay. And then it drops off. Uh, so lots of green to work with. So. Oh, a lot of green. The flag's on the little tier. There's a little terrace at the back of the green. Yeah. Um, Looks easy, but where the flag is, not easy. No, not easy at all. Okay, Wilbur, what club have you got? I've got 56. 56 degree. Yeah. I'm, I'm Wilbur happy. does I'm like happy. to use lots of loft, so going for 56 for Wilbur. Going up, a bit of elevation. In, yeah, so. he's coming from down to up, so ball's going to come in. He's in to win. I'm happy with 10 foot short because Long's dead. Okay. But if it goes a bit closer, so I'm bonus. So this for Will is, he does de-loft these a little bit. Wind's got that. Hot gust picked it up. Absolutely gusted. Yeah, wind got hold of that one. 
Not easy that. Just the wind picked it up, didn't it? Going, um, going again, having another little practice, going again, Fifth, going pitching wedge this time. Yeah, with this much wind, yeah, I think I can pitch it on even deeper. Yeah, you can throw that all the way up there. Skipping it forward. Even that got hold of the wind. Right club, better club that time. Just kept it a bit lower, didn't it? This wheel's got a bit of gust, didn't it? The wind got hold of it and just stalled it big time. It was almost coming backwards, I think. Was it? What did he play with? 56, but yeah. I mean, as soon as he hit it, he just popped up. I've, I mean, I normally would play this with 52, but I'm going to hit a, my pitching wedge. Yeah. It's, it's just so much wind. And, then, yeah. and you're right, it's just gusting. One minute, there's nothing really happening. And the next minute, it's like a two, three club more wind. Yeah. It's tough. Okay. So it's slight upslope, so again, it's going to add a bit of loft to his shot. So he's going to push this ball position slightly further back in the stance and then um, push those handles forward. Yeah, come out nice and low. Now releasing up, just again short. One of those that you didn't really want to leave or go over the back, I suppose. One of those that you need to hit the middle of the golf club with, and I didn't. Okay, a bit of a miss hit. Okay, well, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay, Will was going up the hill, as we saw from those chip shots, definitely into wind, so it's definitely been playing a fact up today. Yeah, quite severely uphill as well. Yes. I'm just, just looking to get the pace here, really. Okay. Walk off me two putt if it goes in as a bonus. Yeah. Aiming out to his right hand side. Big swings. One thing I've noticed is there's a lot of movement on these greens. A lot of movement. So every putt that I've seen has been a good cup or so outside with break. What percentage did you get there? Two percent? I think I'm in between two and three percent. Yeah, it's a so lot, isn't it? I think we're going to be far off nearly a foot of break here. Foot of break, I, wow. I just watched Wills. I mean, look how much Wills has finished left of the hole. So, yeah, you're probably right. As that ball you know, stalls best, as well, it's going to start to keep going left, isn't it? The best thing you can do with um, trying to read a green is watching what any other people's golf balls are doing on the green, really. Yeah. So I, I got a really good idea of what he was doing there from watching Wills. It just went yeah, really low. Left. So that's the best read you can get. Okay. I feel like Paul wants to hold this one, he certainly needs to. Right around the back of the hole. Okay. Uh, <laughs> tough school against you boys, isn't it? Cool. Thought me and Bernie were tough on the bus tour. This is uh, proper. Big Proper little grudge match, isn't it, Bernie? Big money on this match. Well, Big money on this match. Okay. Wilbur for the half. What would be an actually a, a bit of a gifty half again from Paul. Dan in his favourite position. Good yeah, good half in the end. Well. He's going to have to hold out well if he's going to win on this good tour. Half. He goes that there's our champion. There's our Euro Pro athlete. Ninth hole? Yeah, par five. 513, downhill, downwind. So a real attacking one for Wilbur, isn't it? It is off the tee. Um, the last tee we were on, the green was at the side of it. Okay. And I had a quick quick uh, look when I was yeah. there. And it's a very tight entrance, trees overhanging. So I said to Will, bomb one down the middle. Let's see what's going on. Get get as far we, down as you can, leave you more loft in. Let's see what's going on when okay, we get I there. I like that there. play, yeah. Par five. Par five, yeah. Wilbur's gone with driver. Get it down there as far as he can. Move it. Going for a little draw here. Downwind off straight down, I think. 
maybe just off his right. Started it on the buggy, now turning over. I'd say that's pretty good. Just down the right hand side here. Might be blocked out actually. Bit unlucky, got a big kick off this bank here, which you see, top of the brow of the hill, and then kicked right down here. But I think he's going to be okay. There's a bush in front. He should better manoeuvre that with a little bit of fade around the corner. Not got a lot of club in there. Um, I was looking on the. Um, I was looking on the viewfinder, the yeah. thingy, and um, there is it is shorter down the other fairway we just played. But I got a feeling there's some really big overhanging trees for your second shot, which might right. be a problem. But it's worth. Um, so you were contemplating looking down the other hole. Well, yeah, because if you draw a, a, a straight line, line from yeah. the tee to the screen, it goes down the other fairway. Ah, so, so it's a big dog leg around to the right to left. Yeah. So, but I've got a feeling when we walked up, the trees look quite big. So maybe that's not the play. But um, it might be worth checking out when we get okay. down there. To see if it's that's why we've got a caddy. Caddy's already found out. He's been down. He spotted the big trees. It's slightly, I would say it's a straight down, maybe just off, off the right. Driver as well for pull. A little draw. Doesn't like it. Miss hit slightly, going over the top of that green. Way beyond those trees, not going to see that down. another one there, because I think that's... You're going to hit another one? Yeah. Be in trouble, so a little left for Paul. Just going to have another go again, just trying to get a decent strike and see where his ball ends up. That's perfect, that's better. I think that's spot on. Started it down the middle and then just drawing it. There you go. Yes, bounding down there. Bounding down. It's a better one, just a miss hit with the first one. Just trying to get used to this new driver. It's a bit lighter than my other one, so. What, the driver? Yeah, it just goes a bit left on me, so I've got to. Only work it all well, out. Well, yeah, okay, it's definitely more cupboard speed, so. Right. But I feel like it What have you done with the driver? Just taking the weight, reduce the weights in the head, to try to just make it lighter, which is making it quicker. But it feels like I feel like I've got to clear a bit harder with it to, to stop it going left. So right. I just need to have a little play with it. Keep working so, on yeah. it. Okay, Paul's just wandered out of the fairway. We've located his ball, it's in the rough. How far have you got in? It's 182 from here, so probably 210 maybe from where I am, 200. Right, okay. Ball located down the left hand side of this hole, not ideal. Um, he's not got a great lie out of this rough. Got to go up and over this tree, big tree in front of us. Saving grace is the fact that it's slightly downwind and it is also slightly elevated so we can get it up quicker hopefully off that lie. So you try and hit a hook here because I can't maybe just short right of the green. Yeah, okay. Option. Get it as close as you can. It's not a great lie. No. We've got like an eight iron here, trying to hook it out of this lie. Yeah, got it. Well done. Great shot out of there. Really good out of there. Yeah, you couldn't have done much better out of that lie, to be honest with you. That was really, really well executed. Right, but playing 145. Yeah, 150, playing 145, playing 135. Yeah. Okay, Wilbur, I thought it was going to be a little blocked out, a little bit too far and uh, well, further in and you've been in here, but it's actually okay, isn't it? Perfect. Dead, dead aim, I've got 150 yards, I've just got pitching wedge. Yeah. So as you can see, he just needs to get it up and over this tree in front of us and then down to that flag that's fluttering away. Just a smooth one, I think. What club? Pitching wedge. Pitching wedge for Wilbur. Really taking advantage of these par fives now. You can come in with a pitch and wedge and do par five, you are laughing. He's hit a good shot there, look at it go now. Done well, that's a great shot. Good opportunity there for Will for his eagle again. Landed sort of pin high, bounced sort of 10 yards I guess, but again if you look now, if they quicken these up, 
another three or four foot further he's into that rough and running down the bank so this is the line that wheels come in from that tree over there i mean anywhere further left or further left of where we are but further right off the tee is actually not a bad line into this pin if you pull had gone down this part here which is the shortcut down the other hole look at that tree that he's got to work with he's got absolutely no shot so as far right off the tee as you like is kind of the line it's kind of left leaves you a better spot doesn't it will yeah that's, that's what we've agreed keeping it down the uh but we are playing a th down a 30 mile an hour gale so that's yeah it might be very different on the day but exactly. coming into if, this green if it's into wind we're playing the whole different yeah absolutely okay paul have you got any type of shot you got again a bit unfortunate again in the main event you're not playing that shot are you after seeing this, the good news is, is I think that is that dead? Oh, yeah, it's dead. That tree, you were taking that. Wow, get on, you're right. That tree out. I see that, that tree's gone. So, that tree was actually dead, so there was yeah, nothing, so he could move that. Just chopped in, so hey, just chopped front, it's been, it's chopped been cut and thrown so down there. Right now, so we've actually got a bit of a better shot here, but. This is not um, not ideal, but he does have a bit of green to work with. He can just get it going. Got another dead tree. Yeah, it is, yeah. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, that's kind of let's move that because it's dead. He can he can kind of do what he likes with it, really. It's, uh, it's, not it's, it's, it's dead but caught up. So if that was live, if that was fully attached to that tree, he couldn't have done that. Because he's got a dead tree, he can move it out of its way. You can't improve your life if it's a living tree limb. Come out of there, nice. Actually, Bernie's got that down. It come out okay. What's that with? Like a 52 or something? 58. Just 58, just to get a bit more start. elevation. Paul's playing a great shot there. Sort of landed it onto this area here and just skipped it up there with a low lofty club. He's giving himself a chance of a birdie. So Wilbur now with his eagle putt. Looks like it feeds slightly from the left. He's doing a little bit of gardening there, a little bit of removal of the uh, loose impediments. Looking from both sides, that's important as well. He's gaining as much information as possible. He's a bit unsure of the line to start with, so I go and have a look at the hole, maybe we can get a little bit more information chance of an eagle here for Will. Both par five he's had eagle putts on. Wind straight across as well which we might exaggerate the break as we've seen in the past putts. Just drifting to his right. Easy birdie though. Tapping birdie. He's a little bit disappointed. There's a little bit of a tut there as well. Right, Paul's given that, so Paul down the hill. Not, he wouldn't have had any sort of read as that came down there. It would have kind of run out past the hole, but not obviously being so far down the bottom there, he wouldn't have got the read off that. So he's got this for his half. Quite a bit right to left. Yeah, big right to left on this. I need to hold it, so... Yeah, it's the one you've got to hold, absolutely right. Maybe just fractionally downhill. Even way up to the right level. Level. Oh. Too much. Too much, thing, yeah. Ooh. Bit of a problem now, isn't it? Right, you're giving, yeah. you're giving um, Will lots of confidence. We like that. That's, well, that's very Dan, nice. I didn't know you were so nice. Dan did say, "Look, come up, take on Will, but don't beat him." So you're you're doing a very good job of that. We've got to just build his confidence for the event. Oh, well, Dan, that's clever. That is. He thinks he's great now. <laughs> he's always thought he's great. <laughs> <laughs> so that ends part three. Yes. Let's hope it's a game of two nines, two, two halves. Absolutely. A big fight back. It's all about momentum though. If you can kind of get one or two back, then it kind of all shifts. And... 
it's never over till it's over. So. I don't, you know, I, I'm not saying that Will's playing bad golf. He's not playing bad golf. No. He's playing very good golf. But it's not. I don't think you need to play overly massively well around here to score well, do you? If you get out of position here, like you probably seen with me, you just you end up in places where you can't you can't compete from there. You can't you can't make pars and you can't make birdies from certain positions. And yeah. a lot of it is tee shots and hitting it in the right, missing it in the right places. And if you get out of position here, yeah. You're going to struggle, so. Oh, we'll see everyone tomorrow. See you, see you tomorrow. Six o'clock. Yep. Don't be late.